Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video uh, where we discuss past year question for the year of 2019-2020. In this video, we will discuss question 6 involving chapter 7, a unique equilibria. Question A, nitrous acid H and O2 is used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amine. At 25 degrees Celsius, an aqueous solution of 0 0.215 molar H and O2 is 4% dissociated. Okay. One Roman, write a balance equation for dissociation of HNO2 in water. So, uh, for HNO2, it has given us that is your acid. Okay, so we will write it with water. So, how do we write it down? Okay, so we have to write down HNO2 plus, N plus H2O. And then we have to include the state. H2O is our liquid. Okay, HNO2 will be our aqueous. The next part for the equation, when we're talking about chapter 7, we have our strong acid uh, or weak acid. Uh, the same goes for basal. we have strong or weak. If our strong acid, um, it's dissociate fully, we will use our arrow as in chapter 1. Lah. If it's a weak acid, dissociate partially, we're going to use arrow, reversible arrow, the same as in chapter um, 6. Okay, but then from the statement itself um for e does not mention anything lah okay does not give any hint but then if you look back based on the question to roman determine the acid dissociation constant ka so when we're talking about ka for k it must be a weak acid or weak base or specifically for hno2 is your weak acid so in this case our arrow here will be the reversible arrow lah so but then how to do the equation remember that hno2 is your acid Acid will donate H+. plus. So, if your HNO2 is your acid, then H2O will be your base. And base will accept H+. plus. So, how do we write down the equation? So, HNO2 will donate H+. plus. So, what will happen is that it will form NO2. So, here state aqueous. Okay. So, but then, again, they donate H+. plus. So, not only H is being donated. Okay. So, maknanya H plus as well lah. So, NO2 uh, must be NO2 minus so what is left is no2 minus k plus k right now h2o accept h plus h plus from our hno2 so we become h3o plus so the state will be equals as well okay uh, just uh, be mindful that for this one hno2 when it donate it's not only donating the h it donate the charge so what is left negative lah so but right now it's neutral because we have positive negative charge so that is for question one roman Okay, question to Roman, determine the acid dissociation constant for HNO2. So, for a given um, equation, then we know that what is our Ka lah. Ka is again our product over reactant, the concentration. But, make sure that the A must be our gas or aqueous state. When we're talking chapter 7, mostly about aqueous lah. So, we can know what is the Ka for a given uh, equation. So, Ka is equal to NO2 minus... Multiply by H3O plus, divide by HNO2. Okay, K again is your equilibrium constant. So, it means that all of this value must be in equilibrium. So, right now, based on the information, we only have the HNO2 0 0.215. So, we do not know about the other um solution, lah, the other species. So, usually when it's given, it's initial lah, before they dissociate. Okay, so how do we um find out the equilibrium? Then, we have to do the ice table by using this equation. So, I stable stand for initial change equilibrium. You must include the unit lah, molar. Okay, so the information that uh, we have is here. HNO2 is 0 0.215. So, I'm just going to write it down. Okay, the change here for the case of reactant, it will be minus. Minus X. Okay, why X? Because uh, here is 1. So, minus 1X. Minus X is the same thing lah. Equilibrium is when we add up both. Okay, next is for the case of H2O, for the liquid and solid, okay, for the K is not included because the concentration remains constant. So, that's why K usually only for gas and equals. So, H2O only, there's no value. So, we're just going to write down minus, minus, minus. Okay. NO2 minus and H2O plus, initially we have zero. Okay. For the product, initially we don't have any concentration. La. So, it will be zero. The change here will be positive X. Because product, the concentration will always be increasing lah. Okay, so the equilibrium is when we add up both, so we get X and X. If you want to write down plus, um, here pun no problem juga. It's the same thing lah. Okay, so right now, this is our equilibrium. 
Okay. The question asks us to find the KA lah. Kan? But right now what we have is 0 0.25 minus x. This one is x. This one is x. Okay. So how do we find out the unknown or our x? It's actually based on here. 4% dissociated. Okay. So what does it mean by 4% dissociated? So here is actually back to your chapter 6. Uh, degree of dissociation. So what is meant by degree of dissociation? It is uh, the change, the concentration change divided by initial multiplied by 100. So based on the question it gives us, uh, this one is 4%. And then uh, it mentioned that this is for the HNO2. So the change over initial, okay, dissociation usually is for the case of reactant lah. Sebabkan initial, uh, initial the value that we have is only reactant. Kalau product will be 0, 0. Okay? So uh, right now, uh, the change will be our unknown x initial the value here uh, multiply by 100 where you will get the value of x to be 8.6 exponent negative 3 again this is the change dissociated ni is for specifically this question give for HNO2 so the formula here uh, for this one change ni pun HNO2 I'm just going to write down H sini eh HNO2 yang change over initial again uh, must be the reactant Okay, so then when you get your x, x is the change lah. So right now you know lah, uh, x is this one. As you can see, this is the value of x. Hence, you can get the equilibrium value for the NO2 and H3O plus straight away. Which is 8.6 exponent negative 3 as well. Okay, for the equilibrium value. Then for HNO2, can also, uh, we can also calculate lah the value in equilibrium. Where you will get the value for HNO2 to be... 0 0.2064 molar. So this is all the information. Okay, why we have to find the x? Because we want to find the value in equilibrium. Okay, why do we have to find the value in equilibrium? We have to find the k. K must be the value in equilibrium lah. Uh, this case uh, a bit tricky because it give us uh, the four percent dissociated to find the value of x itself. Okay, so now we can substitute the value straight away into k. Which you will get it to be 3.58 exponent negative 4. Okay. So that is for question 2. So when they ask you to acid dissociation constant K. Okay, so it means that the acid itself is a weak one lah. Okay. So for the K then you have to do the ice table. Since uh, it only gives only one concentration. It does not mention specifically uh, it is in equilibrium. Uh, so it means that we have to find the value in equilibrium lah. Okay. So that's for question 2 Roman. Question 3 Roman, calculate the pH of the solution. Okay, so what's the formula of pH? pH is negative log H plus or H3O plus. Depends lah. If the equation have H3O plus, then we use it. Uh, that is will be negative log our pH. If we have H plus, it uh, will be straightforward lah. Uh, these two is the same. Kalau OH minus, then it will be very different lah. Okay, so negative log H plus or H3O plus. Based on the equation, we only have H3O plus. So we have to find the concentration of H3O plus in equilibrium, which is X, which I find out here 8.6 exponent negative 3, which then we will get the answer to be 2.07. Uh, that is for question A. So for question A, uh, it's actually a bit of back to our chapter 6 again because we're talking about ice table. Here we have our K. So K must be weak acid. The equation must be in equilibrium. Okay, uh, the difference is that for chapter 7, you have to know how to write down the equation lah. Chapter 6, mostly the equation is given to you. Chapter 7, you have to write it down by yourself. Uh, so that's why you have to remember definition. Acid donate H+, plus, base accept H+. Plus. Then you may answer the uh, I stable to find the KA and then you can find your pH. So uh, that is for question A. Question B, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, is used to neutralize excess acidity in lakes and salts. Calculate the pH of 0.3 molar calcium hydroxide. Okay, so what's the formula for pH? pH is equal to negative log H plus or H3O plus. Okay, next, uh, back to the question, they asked to find the pH for the calcium hydroxide. So what I'm going to write down is the equation for the calcium hydroxide. So since the uh, question give us, this is calcium hydroxide solution, so the state will be aqueous. Why is not liquid? Okay, because liquid is specifically only for water. Okay, so this one, uh, it will dissociate to form Ca2 plus and OH minus.
Make sure that the equation is balanced. So as we can see, calcium is balanced, but hydro OH minus here we have two. Okay, so back to the question itself. We want it to be pH negative log H plus or HCO plus. Based on the equation, we only have OH minus. So this is not the same as the pH lah. So from here, from the equation, actually we can find the pOH. Okay, why? Because uh, this is OH minus. Now we can't use this one, pH. pH specifically, H plus, H2O plus. So now uh, we have to find the pOH first. So negative log OH minus, we have to find what is the concentration of OH minus here. Uh, so here uh, we have the concentration is given calcium hydroxide 0 0.3. So since this is a balanced equation, okay, this one, okay, why do we why do we use this arrow? This means that it is a strong base. Uh, calcium hydroxide is a base lah, strong base where it will dissociate fully. So that's why we will use this arrow. How do I know it's a strong base? Okay, so actually in here, if there is no Ka or Kb in the question, so it means that uh, the solution from uh, in the question will be a strong one lah. Okay, this one we don't have any KB kan, since this is a base kan, we don't have any KB. Uh, so, it means that this is not a weak base. Hence, this will be a strong base. So, this will be the equation lah. Okay, so since this is a strong uh, base, it dissociates fully. That's why we can find the concentration of OH ni uh, straightforward by using the um, ratio lah, the mole. Okay, so if the calcium hydroxide is 0 0.3, the calcium... Uh, ion will be 0 0.3 as well. However, for the OH minus will be 0 0.6 because here we have 2. Okay, uh, that's why I make sure that the equation is balanced. So for the OH minus, it will not be this one. Uh, OH minus specifically here. Then you'll find your pOH to be 0 0.22. Okay, but then remember the question did not ask for pOH, the question asked for pH. But we um we have the information for the pOH. Then actually we can find the pH lah. How? By using the formula pH plus pOH equal to 14. So pH is our unknown. pOH here, uh, the value is will be equal to 14. We can substitute straight away to find the pH. Hence we will find the pH to be 13.78. Okay. So again, based on this question, the question asks for pH. But this is a base. Okay. So we can't use the pH is equal to negative log. Uh, if we just gonna write down pH negative log OH minus, uh, it's not the correct one lah. This one kan, uh, yang ini pH ni mesti lah yang ni H. It's true, we have information about OH minus. Then we have to find the pOH lah. After that, we can use the pH. Okay, how do I know it's a strong one if the question does not give any K value? That the Ka, that the Kb. So, it means that this is a strong uh, acid or strong base. Specifically, CaOH2, strong base. That's for question B. Okay, question C. I will not discuss it in this video. I have discussed it previously in another video where I have discussed uh, all the question, question one Roman until question four Roman. Uh, so uh, the video. Okay, I will link it in the description. Uh, again, uh, please refer to the video lah if you have any problem in answering the question. Okay, from question one until question four Roman. So that is the solution for question number six for the PSPM 2019-2020.